Do you know how to add a professional touch to your short form videos? By the end of this video, you will learn tricks to take them to the next level, including where to find completely free motion backgrounds that will enhance your video's overall look, how to create unique captions that grab viewers' attention and make your content more engaging, a simple trick to make animated arrows like this, and much more. So, let's begin with the first trick. First, open PixArt, tap on the plus button and then select color backgrounds. Here, select a black background. Go to brushes option and tap on it. You can select any of these brushes, I chose the second one because it appeals to me the most. The next step is to activate screen recording and then begin drawing. You can draw whatever you like, I often draw arrows. Draw one element, then use the back arrow to remove it and draw a new one. When you're done, save the screen recording video and then open the CapCut app. Tap on new project and then import your video. I will add more animated elements to this video. Choose the point where you want to add the animated element, then tap on the overlay option and select the screen recording video. Split it into several parts if you want to add more elements to your video, then remove the parts of the video that you don't need. Separate only the parts where you drew the element. You can now position them to your liking. The next step is to tap on overlay video and then select the transform feature. Tap on the resize option and then crop it like I did. Crop the video to include only the black background with the animated element, then save it. Now position it to your preference and then go to the splice option. Select filter mode, then repeat the same process for the other elements. The next step is very important if you want to increase the duration of the overlay video. At the end of the overlay video, freeze the frame and then align it with the main video. Repeat this process for each element as needed. To make the elements look even better, you can add out animations. I chose fade out animation for all overlay clips. Here is the result. I've been working on my short form video editing skills and found Skillshare super helpful. They are also sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives, with thousands of classes across various topics. Whether you're into film, illustration, design or productivity, they've got you covered. I took classes specifically on editing short form videos and they were game changers. The lessons were incredibly practical and easy to follow. I also found Marquez Brownlee's YouTube success class very helpful for learning new things related to YouTube. One of Skillshare's unique features is learning paths. Carefully selected sets of classes designed to help you master specific skills step by step. For example, this one will help you learn how to grow your first YouTube channel. Skillshare has really helped me level up my video editing game and I think you will love it too. And guess what, you can try it for free. So, make the most of your summer by diving into new skills or hobbies. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a 1 month free trial of Skillshare. Get started today! The next trick is to add a motion background behind a person. Now, I will show you how. In the description of this video you will find a link where you can download these backgrounds for free. Choose one you like and then open CapCut. Tap on new project and select the video you want to edit. Before editing, my video looks like this. Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to expand background in PixArt. Tap on it and then duplicate it. Go to the beginning of the video and tap on the overlay option to add the animated background you downloaded. The next step is to enlarge it to fit the background. After that, align it with the main video. Simply go to the end of the main video and cut off the animated background on the right. Now select the second clip, then tap the overlay option and position it below as I did. The next step is to remove the background of the video. Tap on it and then go to the remove background option. Select Auto Removal and wait for the process to complete. After that, select the background video and then tap on the Splice option. Choose the mode that best suits your video, I chose Filter mode. Adjust it according to your preference and then save. Now, you can trim the part you don't need and then add in and out animations to make the video look even better. 
After editing, my video looks like this. You can make your videos more engaging by integrating in animations. Tap on your project and import your video. Select your clip and then tap on animations. Choose the animation you like and then set its duration. I suggest adding an animation with motion to the video to make it look even better. Now I will show you how to create smooth zoom in and zoom out animations. Select your video and then add a keyframe at the point where you want the animation to start. Now enlarge the video at the point where you want the animation to end. To create a zoom out animation, select where you want it to end, then return the video to its original state. To make the animation smooth, tap on graphs and choose one you like. I chose easy in one. Repeat this process for each animation and then save. After editing, your animations should look like this. In the next part of the video, I will show you how to make images move in your video. The first step is to tap on the plus button and choose a background. I will use the same one as before. Enlarge it to cover the empty space and then we will add a transition to make the video look better. Tap the transition button between clips, then choose the transition you like. I chose pull in transition. Adjust its duration and then save. Now I'm going to show you how to create photo animations, so let's start with the first method. First import photos as overlays. Position them and then adjust the duration according to your preference. Now remove the part of the background that you don't need. Now select one photo and then tap on the animation tab. For the photo above choose slide down for the in animation and slide up for the out animation. For the bottom photo choose slide down for the out animation and slide up for the in animation. Now I will show you another way to animate photos and then I will show you the final result. Import the photo and then hide it like I did. Start by adding a keyframe at the beginning, then position and rotate the photo at the point where you want the animation to finish. Now at the point where you want the out animation to start, add a keyframe. Then at the point where you want the out animation to end, hide the photo like I did. The next step is to tap on the graphs icon and select the graphs you like to make the animations look even better. Repeat this process for both the in and out animations. Here is what the final result looks like. The next trick that can be useful is adding text. Tap on the text tab and then add your text. Select in and out animations, then set their duration. After that, you can duplicate your text, change it in its position and the animations will stay the same as for the original text. This way you can create one text with animations and duplicate it for use anytime in your video. Now my text looks like this. Next, I'm going to show you a trick for adding AI generated b-roll to your videos. Before editing, my video looks like this. The AI will fill in any blank areas for you, so you can easily switch. Tap on the overlay option, then select the AI media tab. Tap here, then tap the adjust button at the bottom of the screen. Here select type, format and quality, then save. In this area enter your prompt and tap the generate button, then wait for the process to complete. Choose an image you like and then add it. Now I will show you how to animate it. Enlarge it and zoom in on one part of the photo as I did, then add a keyframe. After that, at the point where you want the animation to end, move it like I did. Adjust its duration and then position it at the part of the video it was created for. After that, tap on it and then add in and out animations. Here is how my video looks after adding AI B-roll. Then you can expand the photo to your liking. The AI will fill in any blank areas for you, so you can easily switch your phone. Next, you will learn how to import new fonts and create unique captions. First, go to the FontSpace website and find the font you like. I will choose one of the futuristic fonts. Select one you like and then click on it. Click on three dots and then select download file. 
wait for the process to complete, then I will show you how to create unique captions using that font. Open CapCut, tap on the text tab and then select Auto Captions. Choose a template you like and then tap the Generate button. After that, wait for the process to complete. Here, you can quickly correct any errors that occur while creating captions. The next step is to add the text you downloaded. Tap on the Style option and then in the Font tab, select Add Font. Tap on the plus button and then upload the font you downloaded. Select it and then you can adjust it in the style tab and position it according to your preference. Now I will show you an easy trick to highlight a specific word in your text. Simply select one word in your text and then change its color. You can repeat this process for each word you want to highlight in your text. After editing, my captions look like this. The most important part is to find high quality music and sound effects. I use Epidemic Sound for the best music and sound effects. Get a 7 day free trial, the link is in the video description. Tap here and then select music. After that search for viral reels playlist. Here you will find awesome background music for your short form videos. Choose the music you like, tap on 3 dots and then download it. Here you will also find awesome sound effects for your videos. Download ones that fit your video best, then open CapCut. Tap on the audio tab, then on sounds and then select the device option. Here you will find music and sound effects you've downloaded. Tap the plus button to add them to the timeline. Trim the part of the music you don't need and then tap on it and add fade in and fade out. If your video includes a voiceover, I recommend lowering the music volume. After adding music and sound effects, my video sounds like this. Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to expand background in PixArt. First, open PixArt, click on the plus button and then select... Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one.